Um, just, I remember all them very clearly, all the little camps you'd go on to related to them. And um, each teacher spoke about how each main lesson and the things you do, like the craft, uh, it's all tied in together as in geometry. And when you're sitting there doing it, you're not thinking, geez, I'm knitting this circle, that's a brilliant circle, I'd, I'll tie it into my geometry class. It's all really subtle. And you think about four years later, you finally realise, oh, that's, that's why they were doing that, because it's related to this. And it all ties in, but um, at the time you don't even notice. Um, I found the biggest thing that people often wonder, coming from the Steiner School, we are such a tight-knit group with um, your whole class. You're all best friends by the end. And, um, in every relationship, you have the fights, but that's what, that's what makes you strong as a group of friends. Um, the biggest transition is from this, this school, this small community, uh, up to the big school of um, the secondary college or going down to Melbourne or somewhere like that. Um, everyone always thinks from the outside looking in, everyone thinks, geez, it's, it's such a massive thing because all you guys do there is run around, hug trees and chase fairies, which we do a bit of, but um, <laughs> that's, that's all part of the fun, really. And um, that's what makes you different to everybody else. And you always will be that little bit different to everybody else, whether it's wearing the knitted jumper uh, around. But um, it's, it, you don't even notice going up there. I found um, I was always playing sport within the community and things like that, or you'd, you'd find friends uh, in, different, in different ways. And you'd go up there, and it wouldn't be any different, except you look across at the kid in Year 7's work, and you think, why isn't this kid using any pencils to border his page? <laughs> and after being teased for a while about using the coloured pencils, everybody wants to use your coloured pencils. Um, but it's, it's not... I didn't find it was such a big thing uh, going up to the high school. Um, I still, still use my coloured pencils in Year 12 now. Uh, and I haven't found it any different going from uh, this sort of learning where it's very... It's, warm and um, big focus on the colours and the stories that go with every bit of learning that you do uh, to go into sort of mainstream education and uh, just channeling all that things uh, together. A lot of people also say that, oh, well, you don't actually do any maths, you don't do any English, you're just doing all these stories and having a ball. But um, once you get up there, you do find sort of what your passion is and you look back and you see, well, we did do a little bit of this here and it's built up and built up. So a lot of my friends um, from the Steiner School, some have gone to the arts sort of side and English and I'm into the math science uh, area doing pretty much a straight math science at the moment and uh, hoping to do that in the university. But I can't remember ever doing a straight maths class or straight science class here. It just, it just happens, you, um, you really find what you love uh, right in the back of your mind and then it finally comes out um, when it has to. So um, if you ever have those thoughts in your mind thinking, should I send my child here or not, um, will they have the same choices as kids going through uh, the, normal, the normal system? Um, I, don't, I don't think you'd ever uh, worry about your child having a disadvantage from it. Uh, if anything, it has been an advantage being uh, a Steiner as you're constantly referred to. Um, uh, this is Tim, he's from the Steiner School. In the end, it doesn't matter. Um, and you all become friends, uh, no matter where you are. And so um, that's, that's pretty much my story with the school. And um, yeah, if you're thinking about it, uh, it's a great place to go to and I love every minute of it. Thank you.